Most people in the world work on QWERTY keyboards where the numbers and letters are set up like this. But I, together with some French and Belgian people, have a XWERTY keyboard where it is set up like this. Now coming into Unreal Engine, this poses a little problem. When I go here, I don't have WASD keys, I have Q and A, and then SD. So the S and D works, but my other don't work. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this in Unreal Engine. First off, let's go to the viewport navigation because that might be bugged as well. Go to edit, open up the editor preferences. And then here under general, look for the keyboard shortcuts. And then let's search for viewport and navigation. And you can have the key bindings like I have here if you copy and paste them and try them out. Well, I found that they work best for me. You can try your own, of course. It's just as easy as if there is a different letter here, just type it like I have here. And well, let's have a spin with it. For me, this navigates way, way better. Then for the character inside of the game, let's go to the content drawer, then input, and then this IMC default. Let's open this one up. And under mappings, we have mappings. And then not look, chop, but the move one. See, this is where we need to work on. So I'm going to add a new one. And then here it is set to none. So I click here to select the key value. And let's go with Q. Now I can delete A, but I won't. Because I want both A and Q to move my player to the left. Because then both keyboards can work. Or if you really want to do uh, <laughs> right, well, delete whichever you are going to launch to, but I'm going to keep this as is. Now open up A, and also the modifiers. And now you copy here on Q what is on A. So you can see your modifiers underneath it, it is negate. So here also on Q, let's add a modifier here by clicking on this plus button. Look for negate or type it in. See, we have to copy things like they were here. So negate and then inherit settings. Okay, now this is set up. Let's close Q and A. And let's also do the same for W and Z. So we have W opened up already here. Let's add a new one. Click here. Let's make this C. Open up the modifiers if you haven't. And then there is, there is this index here at zero. So swizzle input actions. Let's add this modifier. Okay, like this. Then the order, you can open this up, this is already set nicely. Okay, and then you hit save. Now go here, let's test this one out. So, Q goes to left, S, A. D already went to right, S already to back. And then C and W forward. See, so now I have the QWERTY and the Azurdi keep with bindings and I have my viewport navigation. I hope this helps out for my fellow Belgians and French people with the Azurdi keyboards or anyone else who wants to pimp their default settings in Unreal Engine for the navigation.